Hey everybody, Isaac here. I want to tell you about this vintage knife I got from Colonial Knife Company. Um, they were they they're a company out of Providence, Rhode Island, and they've been around since 1926. Um, one of the founders, uh, he was a World War II vet and was uh, instrumental in getting a lot of um, steel um, into the cutlery industry to provide combat knives and such for World War II. So, real interesting. His name was Antonio Palantonio. Um, his family were immigrants to the United States from Italy in the early 20th century. And, I don't know, just a cool history about this uh, knife company. So, we got this knife here. Now, I don't know the name of the model or anything, but it's just a neat little blade that I found on eBay. Um, it came in this brown leather sheath. Now, I don't know if this is the original sheath for this knife, like when it was sold um, many years ago. Um, it may not be because it's very loose fitting. The snap doesn't uh, hold in the handle. So it may not be the original sheath, but who knows. Um, so this is the knife. It's a nice uh, clip blade. It is just a hair under five inches in length. So it's decent size for a variety of cutting tasks. You know, this isn't gonna be a, a hard use and abuse type knife. It's very thin, um, under an eighth of an inch. So maybe like three thirty seconds or whatever that fraction is on the, the tape measure there. Um, we got some sort of black um, synthetic handle, uh, good texturing here. Um, got their their um, name stamp, Colonial Providence USA, on there, which uh, never shows up here anymore. But blade is in pretty good shape. I sharpened it up a bit uh, on the Arkansas stone, so it it slices. It's a carbon steel. It took a very keen edge. Um, something cool about this is we've got a compass here and the handle and that's kind of why i got this knife i just thought it was a cool little novelty um it's not really functioning unfortunately um you know maybe you know let me know what you think can i rub a magnet on this and maybe get that remagnetized so it points north um we'll see but for now you know this is a, a cool little knife to uh, have here on the workbench um, I'll probably keep it here or close by, you know, just in case I need to do some decent cuts while I'm here. Um, it is fa fairly sturdy. I'm sure it's only a partial tang, probably down to here to leave room for the compass and all that. Um, the guard is a little bit bit loose, but that's okay too. I mean, it's not it's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off or anything, um, but just just a little wobbly. But again, this, you know, it's a real nice blade, um, to be honest. Real cool, real thin handle, but, uh, you know, definitely a nice grip. Uh, fits my hand very well. You got that little rear quillion there to lock in your grip. Again, this is a vintage colonial fixed blade knife. Hope you enjoyed taking a look. We'll see you next time.